G'day, Fugitive Australian journalist Shane Dowling from the website kangarooquarteroftraia.com. Now, over the last few days, it's been reported that Brittany Higgins is going to institute civil proceedings against the government and also two senators, Michaela Cash and Linda Reynolds. Now, apparently that uh, needs to be filed today. Uh, whether it has been or not, I'm not too sure. But we'll move forward on the basis that it has. And that causes a huge headache for Prime Minister Anthony Albanese and the Labor government. Because even though they had nothing to do with the alleged rape or its cover-up, they now own the outcome because they'll be the ones deciding uh, what happens with the civil proceedings, whether there's a settlement or not. So they own that. And uh, they've got a huge issue because after, the, after they won government in May this year, the Australian public want justice. They want people to be held to account for all the corruption in the Scott Morrison government. And at the moment, we've got Scott Morrison getting uh, censured in the parliament last week, which really is nothing. And uh, we also got Scott Morrison and uh, Michaela Cash showing up to the RoboDebt Royal Commission next week. And we're pretty well guaranteed nothing will happen there, except for maybe a bit of embarrassment. And uh, we also got the National Anti-Corruption Commission which is going to have all their hearings in secret except for exceptional circumstances. And the chances of them having any public hearings between now and the next federal election are probably zero. And I have no doubt uh, it's going to greatly limit the number of corruption findings it makes, the fact that there won't be any public hearings or very few. So if Anthony Albanese and the Labor government settle with Brittany Higgins out of court, without holding a public inquiry in relation to the cover-up of the rape allegations, well, then they're no better than the courts they criticised for failing uh, women getting justice. Uh, because what would be the best thing to make sure things like this don't happen again in the future is to hold a public inquiry. Because uh, they don't have to investigate whether it was a rape or not. Because we all know that there was a cover-up in relation to the rape allegation. We've all seen the security guards being interviewed on TV. You can go on social media, they got graphs of everyone who knew about the alleged rape but did nothing. Um, that's bigger than probably the rape itself as a cover-up. And if Anthony Albanese and the Labor government settled with Brittany Higgins without holding a public inquiry, shining a light on who knew what and when, well, they can hardly afford to criticise a court for failing women because they themselves have failed women. And that'll add to a growing list of times that the Anthony Albanese government have covered up corruption for the previous government. Uh, they should have held a royal commission into Scott Morrison and his multiple appointments, secret appointments to ministries, and they should have held numerous public hearings into Watergate and the m multiple frauds and thefts that took place under Scott Morrison. But uh, now we know they'll be swept under the carpet by the Clayton's National Anti-Corruption Commission who will refuse to hold a public hearing because they'll say, oh, well, it's not in the public interest and doesn't meet the test of exceptional circumstances. Multi-million dollar frauds are stock standard, they'll say. And if you're watching this video on YouTube, please hit the like and subscribe button. And uh, please support my Patreon account. That's how I fund these videos and my articles on my website. The Patreon account link will be below the video on YouTube and also there's links on my website. And please share this video on Facebook and Twitter, etc. Other than that, thank you for your time and have a good day.